Okay, now let's talk about the third example here in this set, and that's the one that you see right here. We need to start off by getting everything with a Y on the left-hand side, everything without a Y on the right-hand side. And there's a couple ways you can do it. Some people would tell me the first thing they would do is multiply both sides by 6 because they don't like having this fraction here, and that's absolutely fine. I would have other tell people tell me that you need to take the 2 and you need to distribute it out, and that's fine as well. So I really don't care what you choose to do because you're going to get the same answer both times. Let's go ahead and do the 2 first, okay? Let's say that I distribute this negative 2 out. I would end up with 3y minus negative 2 times a y is a negative 2y. Negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2. That's all over 6, and it's equal to negative 1. Now, the next step is I see I have a 3y minus 2y, so I can go ahead and say that's y plus 2. That's all over 6, and that's equal to negative 1. And so now comes the point when, if I didn't do it earlier, I need to multiply both sides by 6. Right now, you can see I'm taking this y plus 2 chunk of information. I'm dividing by 6. The opposite of division is multiplication. So that's what I need to do. But, of course, I can't just do it to one side. I've got to do it to both to be fair. So I'm going to multiply both sides. Now, I have 6 times this stuff divided by 6. So these two cancel each other out. Multiply by 6, divide by 6, goes away. On the left-hand side, I have y plus 2. On the right-hand side, I have negative 1 times 6, which is negative 6. And now, to get the y by itself, I just got to subtract 2 from both sides, which leaves me with y value of negative 8. Now, in the calculator, then, the one trick that you need to understand is this. When I type in this information, if I type in, remember, I'm going to replace this with x, because that's what my calculator understands. So if I typed in 3x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 1, all over 6, and the right side is going to be negative 1. Remember, this is all y1 here. And this is all y2. So that's real simple. y2 is. I need you to understand that this is wrong. Your calculator does order of operations. So it means when it looks at this equation, it's going to see 3x minus 2 times x minus 1 over 6. It's going to read that as this. Your calculator sees this and says that's 3x minus 2 times x minus 1 over 6. Notice that the 6 isn't under both of them, right? Look at the original equation and look at what I have here. And the reason is, is because it knows to do division and do this division problem there before the subtraction takes place. It understands that. So what I need to do is I need to find a way to chunk together then this set of stuff. I've got to be able to chunk it together. And I'm going to use parentheses to do that. So I'm going to come up here. INS stands for insert. It's right above the delete button. If I go second insert and put in a parenthesis, I come over here, second insert, and I put the in parentheses in. Now to notice that I have an extra set of parentheses together just to chunk the numerator together. So everything inside the parentheses is now going to be divided by 6. And I'm ready to go. So let's graph that. There is the first line, and then there's that negative 1 line, y2. It looks like they meet up somewhere over here. Second, calculate. Calculate where they intersect. Come over here. They meet somewhere in this region. That's good enough. I'm going to hit enter, enter, enter. And they meet at negative 8. How about that?